Hello my loves, it's Monica and today I'm so excited because it is the start to a new reading vlog and I'm also excited because I'm about to head out. I just clocked out of work for the day. I'm about to go head out to a fun little book event. I actually haven't been to a book launch event in years, literally years. Uh, and one of my favorite authors who wrote one of my favorite books, If I Had Your Face, Francis Cha, is moderating the book launch for another book that I actually wasn't on my radar until one of you told me about this event and I looked it up and the book sounds so, so good and it's called Brown Girls. So I'm really excited and I'm just excited to like listen to them in conversation. I think that'll be really cool. So yeah, I'm gonna head on out. The event is in Dumbo in Brooklyn. So I'm gonna head over there and grab something to eat and then go to the launch and I'm super stoked for that. Also, I thought I should mention what I am currently reading. I am currently reading Anthony Dower's new book, Cloud Cuckoo Land, and this is the absolutely stunning Barnes & Noble Clothbound Edition. I was super excited. I was able to pick this up during the hardcover sale, so I got it for 50% off, which is fantastic because this book is normally very pricey so yeah I'm very happy about that and I'm really really liking it so far it's my first read of 2022 I kind of I really want to prioritize this year reading like all these longer books so like this one and just like longer large-scale fantasy novels in general so but yeah the writing in this one is super fascinating and beautiful to read so far very much so that like metafiction kind of style reminiscent of like the starless sea for example so if you're a fan of that you might like this one but yeah I'm gonna head on out pack everything I need for for this and yeah head on out where airplanes fly so low that we are certain they will crush us. On our block, a lonely tree grows. Its branches tangle in power lines, its roots up and sidewalks where we ride our bikes. Before it, they are stolen. Roots that render the concrete slabs uneven, like a row of crooked teeth. Oh my goodness. I just, I have, I have so many feelings right now. Hello, my love. So I am home. I immediately changed back into my pajamas and I watched a bit of the new Queer Eye season. And yeah, I had such a wonderful time at the event today. Actually my first bookish event in the city in years. Um, obviously they haven't been having them. This is the first one that I had. Um, and they've been having a few of them recently, and this was the first one where I was like, oh yeah, I really want to go to that. I was just so excited to go to this event because it's for a book that I'm really excited for, and then also um, with an author hosting who I absolutely adore, Francis Cha, just wrote one of my all-time favorite books, and I just, it was so amazing to get to actually meet her. Um, and so I went up to her after they had finished their discussion and I got to introduce myself and wildly she somehow knew who I was. I was, that was like, that took me out. Um, and we just got to talk about like writing and, um, she asked me about my writing and so I got to tell her about that and, um, that like took us on a whole spiral about talking about mudangs, uh, which are, uh, Korean shaman and I um, talked about my grandmother who was a mudang in Korea um, and so we talked about that for a bit which was really cool um, and then she encouraged me to you know continue my writing which was amazing and um, yeah I don't know it's just really cool getting to meet someone whose story um, I love so much and had such a big impact on me as a reader and writer and um, person in general. So that was really amazing and it was also just wonderful getting to meet Daphne. Uh, the event was for brown girls and I was able to get both my books signed which I was really excited for and this one I'm super intrigued for because it's written in first person plural so like with we pronouns um, because it's like telling the story of like a chorus of 
of women of color living in Queens um, and I'm so ex so excited to read that because I don't think I've ever read a book in that style before so very very excited for that and then I got obviously if I had your face uh, signed and I was very excited for that and yeah all all in all a very lovely evening and now it's like 10 p.m. so I think I'm gonna work on a video that I'm going to be filming tomorrow and then hopefully do a little bit of reading before bed Hello, my loves. What? <laughs> you filming yourself. Hi, I thought you were gonna like film us walking that way, and I was oh, like, no. should I walk sexy? Like, what did I do? No. <laughs> so, hello. <laughs> so it's a few days later, and I am out. Uh, Matthew and I went to the Met because they currently have a Disney exhibition going on and it was so lovely. You couldn't film or take photos inside so I wasn't able to capture any of that. But it was nice just like walking around the Met, got to see some favorite areas and now we are walking through Central Park and we are going to Jacob's Pickles which is one of my favorite restaurants in the city. It's so good. So very excited for that. Also it is so cold. Oh my god. Do <laughs> 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 I am back home and I am so 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 exhausted my body is in pain um, we did lots of walking <laughs> today today was so much fun it was wonderful to get to see Matthew he's been gone for like the past month so I was really excited to get to see him again like I mentioned earlier we went to the Met which has a like Disney exhibition right now basically looking at like how European art and fashion and all of this like influenced Disney um, and just like also like looking at like the art of Disney and Disney like through sort of an art lens and it was lovely. I wish you could have taken like photos or videos because there were some really cool things in there. I think probably some of my favorites were definitely seeing the Snow White and Sleeping Beauty books like from the beginning of the films in person. They were just so so stunning and then just so many of the like early sketches especially like the early designs for Beauty and the Beast. Those were so fascinating um, but yeah overall it was such a beautiful exhibition i would highly recommend it if you find yourself in new york city and it's still going on definitely recommend checking it out and i of course picked up a couple of things from the gift shop i was debating the book because the book looked really really beautiful um and i still might get the book <laughs> um i to this day i regret um when they had the camp exhibition at the met they had this beautiful book that was all about the exhibit and I really regret not buying it because it's impossible to get now so I'm like maybe I should just get the book anyways I got two prints I have this amazing Cinderella one um two Cinderella ones actually and then this like original film poster um and they're just they're both so so beautiful so I'm really excited to hang those up I'm gonna have to source some frames for each of them um, and then I'll probably hang them up like like probably over here and then we went to the Strand bookstore on the Upper West Side and I ended up picking up my very first Agatha Christie novel I've been wanting for so so long to finally read some Agatha Christie and I've watched a few different videos where people talk about like how to get started with Agatha Christie and Crooked House was one of the books that people had recommended as a good one to start with so I thought I 
would pick this one up and I'm very excited about it. But yeah, I've always, it's always been like a goal of mine to read like the Poirot series, Poir Poirot, I think that's how you say it, um, to read that series, to read her, um, the other detective series I'm completely blanking on um but yeah I've always wanted to do that so I am finally going to start and I'm very excited I'm really excited because tomorrow Kaylee and I have a pottery class a hand building class it was my Christmas gift to her um and I'm super hyped because I've always wanted to try out hand building and pottery in general so I don't know if I'm going to be able to really film much of that because my hands are going to be dirty so I don't know if I'm going to be able to like you know like fiddle with all the buttons but if I can I will um but yeah I think tonight I'm just going to crawl into bed and read a bit of my book which is Cloud Cuckoo Land still so I'm gonna read a bit more of that and then oh, head to it is Sunday and today Kaylee and I have a pottery class which I'm very excited for that I do a quick outfit of the day um, I actually have to run and take a quick photo so that's why I'm in this outfit and then I'm gonna be changing into a more comfortable outfit for the pottery class um, when that time arrives but yeah I'm gonna be wearing this and a red cardigan and now I'm gonna head out <laughs> Hello. Hello. I want to make a mushroom. It's my stem. <laughs> Not for my mushrooms. My little This is bowl. so pretty. For now. <laughs> I haven't done anything. <laughs> and then this is maybe going to be a spoon. <laughs> we'll see. Out of the shower and I am about to go meet up with my friend Alexandra. I'm so excited just moved to New York City so we're gonna meet up for the first time in I would say years but actually when I was in LA um, I randomly ran into her because I went to this like Japanese sandwich shop and she was just there um, so not years but it's gonna be the first time hanging out properly. In years which I'm very very excited for. I wanted to do a quick little update on my reading. So as you know I've been reading Cloud Cuckoo Land by Anthony Doerr which is really beautiful. Really really beautifully written <laughs> and I am really liking it but I'm also really really struggling with it. Um, it is a very slow book. There's lots of it's like very I think it's called metafiction like there's lots of stories within stories and like just a lot of perspectives that are um, tied together which normally is something I love but I think right now I kind of just am not able to like keep up with it so it's just really throwing me into a bad reading slump so I think I'm gonna pause on that one for right now or have that just be like my bedtime book or something so I'm gonna be doing a live with Chanel for she who became the sun um so I read this last year but it's been a while so I think I'm gonna reread this one because I think a reread just sounds like maybe a better um a better way to get myself focused and paying attention so i'm gonna go with that which i'm very excited for um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get ready do my makeup and everything and then head out
hello so i am now home um i had such a wonderful time with alexandra today it was just like amazing getting to catch up and hang out again it's been so long since we've been able to do that so yeah absolutely fantastic day so we went to two different bookstores we went to you and me books which is the first woman asian american owned bookstore in new york city and it was phenomenal um it was really cute and cozy would highly recommend checking it out and they had tons of asian um books by Asian authors, so I loved that also. And then we went and had some snacks in Chinatown, got Ali Mama tea and some rice rolls from Joe's Rice Rolls, or Tony's Rice Rolls, so very good, very delicious. And then after that, we went to um, McNally Jackson in Soho, which is, McNally is like a chain throughout New York City, and it's such a wonderful bookstore, so it was great getting to go there. I ended up getting two books. So these are books that have been up high on my to-buy list for a while now. Um, the first one is Iron Widow. I've heard such amazing things about this one. Um, I know that the author is very beloved here on YouTube and social media in general. Um, but yeah, I've just heard that this is fantastic and I've been really wanting to read it. And then I've really been wanting a physical copy of Beasts of a Little Land, which is a Korean um, historical fiction novel. And I've been really, really excited for this one. Also, I have the audiobook, but I wanted the physical copy as well. Also, it's absolutely stunning like just one of my favorite covers um of all time and then alexandra and i both got these like fancy ink pens that are just like so satisfying like to hold and to write with so yes very excited about that i might buy a new planner tonight because this has like inspired me you know i feel like sometimes you just need a good pen <laughs> and it like inspires you to really just do your best so yes, very excited about that. And then today I got a few different exciting packages in the mail. Very excited to unbox this one really quick. It should be my new lamp that's going to go at my bedside table. So I finally bought a bedside table. I got it from Target and it is a like locker. I just thought it was so cute and it's great for like storage but also I just think looks really cute with like the whole pastel sort of like Korean inspired vibe that I'm going for in my room and the lamp that I currently have there I like but it's just very very bright so I wanted something that was a little bit more relaxed and that had settings where you could like adjust the brightness and this lamp in particular I've wanted for so so long <laughs> but it's like a hundred dollars normally and I recently realized that it's on Amazon for like half the price so I snatched it up <laughs> I almost dropped it that would have been rough and here she is oh my gosh it's so pretty I'm gonna go plug it in and I'll show you guys what it looks like lit up but yeah, oh my gosh, I am obsessed. It's so adorable. My little mushroom lamp. <laughs>